Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. You know, I, I've been very fortunate to have some terrific people on my show. And, uh, you know, tonight I got some great people coming on. Um, the ladies of paintball. And uh, when I mean ladies, I mean they are cool. And they're ladies off the field. But let me tell you, you don't want to face them on the field. They'll smoke you. These girls are playing up a storm, believe me. And, you know, um, I've got some that have been in the, the game for quite a while and, you know, and a newcomer tonight, too. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, this is something I've been looking forward to. And ladies, uh, you know, my buddy, Freddie Valente, uh, Freddie the Ref, a.k.a. Florida Freddie or Cheetah Freddie, whatever. Anyhow, um, he did a thing on the girls of paintball and it was really, really good. Um, he, <laughs> when, he, when he started it, he put it out there that he wanted girls to send him a picture. Well, he thought he was going to get like 100, 200 pictures. Well, he got over 600 pictures. So, um, and it was pretty cool because, you know, girls in paintball, are they're very, very well deserving. I had Constant Pursuit. That was my professional team back in the day. And we I had three different girls on my team. And all three of them were never put on because they were girls. They were put on because they tried out and they played big time, believe me. So, you know, that's the reason. And the only other team that I can really remember back then, now this is playing professional, and, and that was the All-Americans. Uh, Billy Gardner had his uh, wife, um, ex-wife, I guess. Uh, anyhow, she uh, played too. So, But I had three different girls on it, and they were all excellent. Well, tonight I have got a great, great lineup. Um, I know we've got three for sure. Now, we might not have one um, that, that I was hoping, but, you know, it's uh, – it's late 30 on the East Coast, as uh, Miss Tracy Perez will tell you when I pull her up. But Tracy always stays up. She's a, she's a doll, man. Hey, Robert Hansen and Ryan Courtney. Hey, guys. Kenny Stewart. You know, real quick, everybody, I mentioned these names. I kind of cut in and mentioned these names because these guys watch us every week. And they are just nothing short of, of outstanding people. I, I love it. Joshua Silverman, very, very cool. Very cool. So real quick, um, you know, tonight I am going to have Mrs. Tracy Perez. Uh, you know, Tracy and I, we kind of go back a little bit now, not a long ways, but a great ways. I mean, I, I was introduced to her um, actually through Gino from Belkin. And I got to tell you, it was a treat, damn it. I just, uh, I love the girl. She's just, she's just great. She's good for paintball. Uh, she's good for my morale. Um, she's just, uh, she's a great, great lady. I'm very, very proud to know her. Then I'm going to have Miss B, not Bia, but B Young Paxson on. Now B's been in the game for quite a while. She, uh, she's a stomper, period. The woman can play. She knows what she's talking about and she is going to be a great guest. You guys are going to absolutely love listening to her. And then I'm going to have, oh boy, here we go. Carla, I got your first name for sure. Okay, here we go. Guardo. Guarda, Guardo. Uh, I, I know I blew it. She'll she'll straighten me out. Everybody knows I'm a name butcher. You know, I don't hide that. I never hide it. I apologize constantly. You know, I, I even got shirts to say, I'm sorry I butchered your name. I'm just not wearing it tonight. Um, but anyhow, um, I'm going to bring all these people up here in just a little while. Uh, next week, I've got, got another great show. I've got the Boonie Boys from Canada coming back. You know, the Boonie Boys... I had them on before, and the response was great. I mean, they were a great, great group, just like the group I'm going to have on tonight. So let me give my shout-outs real quick, and then let me bring these ladies on, because uh, this is something I've been waiting for. This is going to be pretty darn cool, I think. Uh, so anyhow, I give my shout-outs. First of all, Mr. Tim Schloss. Uh, Tim had Tiger Stripe Camel back in the day. Uh, he now has Gateway Paintball um, in St. Louis, and the way I understand is this field is awesome. So if you're anywhere you know, in the vicinity, even even just outside of Missouri, outside of St. Louis, you know, get over and check out his field, Gateway Paintball. You're going to absolutely love it. And Dan Colby's watching us, ladies and, and Bill. Um, Dan Colby from Immortal Air. Uh, matter of fact, that was my next shout out to Dan and John Colby. Uh, they have been my sponsors for a long, long time. Uh, I think we, I believe we started in 1991 or 1990, but uh I've got a regulator here that they sent me. They had engraved. It says uh, Fred Schultz, 1991 Air America to 2021 Immortal Air. So they are absolute great, great 
two people. I, I, you know, Dan, I've known forever and I've known John forever. John was just a little kid when Dan and I started. So, but John's uh, really doing a great job with the, with the company right now. And then all the time I mentioned Mr. Budor, but watches the show uh, every week. Um, I can't say enough about the guy. He, Bud knows I love him. Um, him and I go back a long, long ways. Uh, Tracy knows him. I'm sure B knows him. Uh, you know, it, obviously, everybody knows Bud Orr. You know, War Game Products, the Auto Cocker. You know, I mean, it, it, he's just a great guy. He, and I, I had a privilege going down. Uh, I did a thing for Greg Hastings a couple of weeks ago, and I was down at Bud's place, and we had a great time. He's a, a great person and a great host. I absolutely loved it. And I always say hi to Mr. Tom K. Tom K actually is Mr. Automag. He's the one that put out the Automag years ago. And uh, he was my sponsor and a, a, a great, great, great guy. Um, and then Rainy and Juby Boucher. I mention them every week. They had paintball news. You know, guys, the reason I mention these people is these people really worked hard at the very beginning of this sport. A lot of the, the younger people nowadays see the sport and what it is, but they don't realize the actual work and, and effort that went into actually building this sport to what it is right now. And they put out a newspaper twice a week, told you everything, what happened, what was coming up, all the fields where they were, and they didn't charge a penny. So it was all, all done with their advertising. So, And then I have to say hi to Mr. Randy Camille. I used to be the editor for APG. Great, great guy. Um, and Mr. Jerry Braun, Paintball Sports. Uh, the World Cup's coming up here in a few weeks. And it's going to be pretty cool. It's up in Jerry Brown's field up in New York. Um, Mr. Kevin Donaldson is uh, going to be running it just like he always does. Kevin's kind of the gatekeeper up there. And then I have to say hi to Mr. Ross Alexander. Now, Ross is up there with Mr. Mr. Andy Stratt. Andy Stratt's a, a great guy, another friend of mine. He has an Ellie Remember Foundation. And these guys are in Colorado. And Andy sent me some pictures. They're still shoveling out. Um, you know, it's... it's that's why I don't live where it snows anymore, guys. <laughs> you know, I, I used to do that. I can deal with the sunshine. I can deal with the warmth, but I can't deal with the snow anymore. So, uh, you know, hey, and, and real quick, Andy, if you have a problem, let me know. I will send Steve McGuire down to help you shovel, okay? Because Steve loves doing that. He shovels it constantly. So, and then I have to say hi to Gino from Belkin. Gino, a uh, very good friend of mine, obviously Belkin. I do this for Gino. Uh, you know, I'm not sponsored by Gino. Gino gives me a couple shirts. No big deal. I do this because of what Gino does behind the scenes that you people don't see. He does so much for paintball behind the scenes. It's incredible. If it wasn't for Gino, I wouldn't know my dear Tracy Perez. Not at all. Um, you know, I mean, I would have probably met her somewhere down the line. But I, I got to meet her, and Bill and I got to give her a hand, and uh, I loved it. I, I got to tell you, I... I can't say enough about Gino. He's a great, great guy. And Jim Lively. Jim Lively, um, a lot of you people, you know, Jim used to have the Masters back in the day. And, God, any time you want to go to a tournament, it was the World Cup and the Masters. Those were two big ones you wanted to hit all the time. And Jim just texted in a little while ago and uh, said to say hi to everybody. Uh, Jim is a terrific, terrific person. And uh, – Andy just checks in. He goes, yeah, but you're paying him $3,000 to send him back. Yeah, that is a little expensive snow shoveling. I think I would go buy a snowblower before I'd send Stevie down there. But it is what it is. And then one more real quick one. I'd say hello to Mark Gong Jr. I see every week. Mark Gong Jr. is seven years old. Um, he's the son of Mark Gong. Used to play in Constant Pursuit. Now plays with the OG Ironman. And um, just great, great guy. And Mr. Guy Cooper chiming in. What's up, guy? All right, everybody. And Connor Bryant from way down under. So everybody, you guys got uh, people from Australia watching you right now, too. That's going to be pretty cool. I'm going to bring up right now, real quick, Mr. William Bailey. What's going oh, on, Bill? Oh, not a lot. Another beautiful. Not a lot. Boy, what a group tonight, huh? Oh, yeah. It's gonna oh, be, yeah. It's gonna be awesome. I'm actually going to throw these ladies into the mix here in about one minute because I know everybody. And, and you know the sad part is? There's going to be so much beauty on this damn screen. And then there's you and I, you know, like a couple of thorns in a bouquet of roses. So, yeah. you know, that's the only thing that kind of sucks. But I guess we got to live with it. Yeah. We got to live with it, you know. Uh, but anyhow, it is. I, I know it. And, and Bia was saying that she had a light 
a, a light that uh, you could I could put on me and make myself look younger, you know. Well, if the sun doesn't do it, I don't think that light's going to do it either. So, you know, there's just not enough light. So, what do you say we bring these ladies up real quick, Billy? Bring them and up. I got, a, I got a question, one question that I'm going to hit them with, and then you get to hit them with the second yep. one. Awesome. So, sound like a plan? Yep, that'll work. Oh, man, let me bring up none other than Mrs. Tracy Perez. Hi, dear. Hi, guys. How are, How are you doing? doing? I am doing great. How are you? Well, I'm doing good. I'm staying out of trouble. It's cheaper, <laughs> you know. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it is pretty cool. You know, I appreciate so much you coming on tonight, sweetie. Um, you know, you being Carla are going to be just absolutely great. And I and I know we didn't get um, Tammy on, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes she's coming. She's coming. She's just going to be a little late. Oh. Um, she's in the car right now with, um, Todd Adamson and some of his family, um, oh. you know, this, um, this weekend was a memorial service for Todd's mom who passed I away. Knew that. Yep. So they are still like traveling and doing stuff. Um, oh. so she'll be a few minutes late, but she's going to be on. Oh, great, great. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, let me bring up these other girls. You know, each, I was just telling everybody, you know, each one of you guys we bring up makes him and I look bad. <laughs> so, you know, so we might just put you girls up and then black Bill and I out. I mean, well, at least me, anyhow. Bill still looks good. Damn. Yeah. yeah, that's a good reason to kick you off here. You know what? No. Yep. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> All right. Well, I am going to bring up Mrs. Bia. Youngs Paxson, better known as B. Yay! <laughs> How you doing this evening, babe? <laughs> uh oh, can't uh -oh. hear you. Can't hear you. I think you're on mute. Yeah. Please hold. Please hold. <laughs> Testing yeah. one two. Testing. Oh, you're doing good now, okay. man. Right, okay. I was trying to I was trying to lip read, but I'm not that good at it. I had I had so to mute it I did, because I, did get, I was. Please hold. Yeah, I was nervous that um, my family are making a little noise in the background because they had a couple of drinks, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> right on. Except me. I've been fasting for the last almost 48 hours, losing wow. weight, lost about 15 pounds, and I oh, feel awesome. Kind of yeah, fasting. Yay, thank oh, you. you. Thank you, everybody. It, thank you. It, it actually works, huh? <laughs> it works, man. I lost 15 pounds in 15 minutes. I'm just kidding. No, that's not. <laughs> that's, but, that's, um, that's my wife said, too. You know, she loses 210 pounds every morning. <laughs> I go to work. <laughs> I love that. And then this is my daughter, Diane. She's going to come in and out every once in a while. Hi, Diane. She is more Daddy's than welcome on. Here. Daddy's going home right now? Okay. Oh, more yes. than welcome. Okay, okay I am going to bring up our other guests now. And, and Carla, I'm just going to call you Carla, babe. <laughs> because I'm going to tell you. I, I say your last name. I'm killing it. Hi, Hi Carla. Hi, <laughs> Yeah, Car Carla, I met on uh, David Justin's uh, show a while back. And... Um, she really presented herself really, really good. And, you know, and you two ladies, you know, you guys are our pinnacle in the sport of paintball. There's no doubt about it. And uh, that's what Carla's going to be one day, too. So I figure, you know, we hook her up with the right people. And, man, she's just going to scream to the top, just like you two ladies did. Oh, awesome. So, that's really yeah. nice of you to say. Thank you. Also, oh, no, no. To, like, get talk and, like, meet you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. knowing these two, you know, this, that's something else. I got to tell you, both of them. Uh, <laughs> these these ladies have done a lot in paintball over the years. Now, I got a question for you. I'm going to hit you with a question, and then Bill's going to hit you with one. Okay. And then we'll take it right around the loop here. We'll start with Tracy. What got you in to the sport of paintball? Oh, man, that's such a good question. I thought um, you'd like it. <laughs> Well, I must admit, the first time that I played paintball was a long, long time ago in New York, um, which is where I'm from. And it was just something that sounded cool to me because it was like, you know, using guns and I'd be like Rambo or something. <laughs> so I was just excited to play, but I never knew that there was um, the whole other speedball side to paintball. 
um, at that time. I don't even know if maybe there even was. But uh, when I moved to Florida, um, I thought that was it for paintball. I thought it was like something just in New York. So I never really thought about it that much. And one day I'm at work and I'm talking with one of my girlfriends and I'm telling her about this cool sport called paintball um, that I used to play. And we had like guns and, you know, and it was shooting these little like jello balls. And then up pops this guy in front of me and he's like looking at me like paintball. What do you know about paintball? And I'm like, what do you know about paintball? And um he was the one that ended up telling me about like <laughs> speedball. And I don't know if you could hear that, but that's now my hubby who's yelling, that was me. But um <laughs> thanks on, to James. <laughs> yeah, I got to meet James and and fall in love with all of this. So that's how I actually got into it. He played the speedball side of it. Um, I played the scenario side and, you know, we got together and it was just, it, it wasn't just love for us. It was love for that sport. And I'm so glad it's that case because we're both really, really addicted. Very cool. <laughs> so, so basically what happened was you fell in love with the sport, which led you to fall in love with James, right? Yeah. Okay, as long as we got it straight, I'm just trying to keep everything straight here. <laughs> hey, James is a great guy, too. And, uh, you know, um, every, for those of you that are watching that don't know, Tracy just went through a horrendous operation uh, a while back. And uh, you're looking good. You're healing up, huh? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm still fighting with some of my stitches. But, you know, mm -hmm. it, it was a big surgery. They said it could take months, you know, to heal. So I can't expect... Um, anything sooner than that. But I'll tell you what, I've been doing a lot better than even the doctors thought I would do. So thank God for that. I'm super yeah. happy about that. Very good. Now we're going to jump down to B, uh, better known as Bia to Fred. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Unmuted. Okay, I, you I'm know, if, 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 I, if I don't say it, they're going to all jump on me. So I, I'll jump on it right off the bat. Okay, B, um, you tell us how you got into paintball. It's a very, very long story, but I will make it as short as possible. Um, <laughs> I got introduced to paintball around 1998, 99, and it was because of Tammy Adamson, who we're going to see tonight on tonight's show. And at first, I wasn't really that um, interested because my immediate thought was woods ball and military-like, and I kind of was bummed out because my dad said I couldn't join the Air Force so this is right around college, by the way. And um, so I kind of was like, oh, I don't want to do that. You know, I, I, I kind of wanted to do the real thing. Right. But then when Tammy was like, no, you got to come check it out. You got to come to Extreme Rage at the time and check the field out. And it was these inflatable bunkers that were all attached. They had a fan blowing the air inside of them to inflate them at the time. Um, and I just said, sold. The, the moment that I saw that field and how different it was, I said, I want in on that because she knew about my softball background. She's like, well, you're, you're an athlete. You know, I think you'd, you'd really like this sport. And so sure enough, she was right. Started playing with the Femme Fatales right out the gate. Didn't even play walk-on ball. I played straight up to be on this tournament team with her and a bunch of other beautiful women, both inside and out. And we ended up doing really good for many, many years together until about 2004 when I formed Destiny because I moved to California. And the reason I moved to California was because I thought I was going to sing back up for Madonna. <laughs> I was trying to do whatever it took to be in that right circle, you know, to kind of be in that network, if you will. Um, but another long story, uh, a year goes by after I'm already in the paintball industry and uh, the music business didn't turn out the way that I had hoped. Um, and then Destiny kind of just became my, my contribution, I guess, from applying my entertainment side of things into <clears throat> the world of paintball through Destiny Paintball and then the other things that I did as a commentator. I did MC stuff. I did stuff for Junkyard Wars, TLC. Um, women's network, uh, women's entertainment is what it was called, that channel, and basically became a promotions coordinator for JTUSA. Um, I was writing for paintball.com. You know, I just kind of, because of my entertainment dream, 
I realized that I moved to California not to be a musician like I had hoped, but it was because my calling was going to be in the paintball world. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so it just turned out to be this amazing opportunity. And then I met the love of my life. I have two beautiful children because of it. And it's all because of Tammy. You know, and so we'll we'll be able to talk to her a little bit about that. But she was really onto something when she had created Femme Fatales. Um, she had gorgeous women and women that were athletic, and we were actually winning events and um, just really surprising the scene. And um, and I just learned so much from that whole entire experience. But after I decided to move to California, um, I had my own thoughts on how I wanted to make contributions. And so I wanted to kind of elevate my play by playing co-ed. And so that's what Destiny was. We started out as an all-female line, but then we started to do a co-ed thing because it was MPPL 7-man at the time. And we needed that speed to get out to the tapes. So we didn't really have Brittany Wagner yet. Brittany Wagner, I don't know if you guys know who she <laughs> is, but she's super fast. Like she can get out to a corner just like any other human being can, regardless of gender. Um, but we didn't have the speed yet. So we kind of wrote on the objective of being a co-ed paintball team with an emphasis on encouraging more women to play and the hope that men's all men's team right, would incorporate more women onto their lines. Yep. So that's go. kind of the short story. There's a lot more, <laughs> you know, but that's so the So short basically story. destiny was your destiny. It truly, and that's why it was named that. Like, yeah, I, I I'll that. never forget, yeah, I'll never forget it. I was in the bathroom washing my face or whatever I do in the bathroom and Mike's <laughs> in the bedroom, you know, and we're going back and forth and having a conversation. And I go, man, it's so awesome how we came together and these girls came from a, a team at the time called the Valkyries. They were on the East Coast, but they moved to California or the girls that were part of that team moved to California. And then I was like, wow, well, we should form a team, you know? And so I told Mike, I was like, man, it's like fate. You know, it's like destiny. We were called to be together. And he's like, well, why don't you call it destiny? And I was Very like, cool. That's a great idea. <laughs> and uh, it's such a positive name. I'm a big believer in whatever you name something is what it's going to be. Like, uh, for example, if you name your kid Lucifer, probably going to be a problem child. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so cool. so Wait. Destiny just, yeah, it worked out. It, it's really turned into something pretty well, awesome. It, it, and, that, and that's funny, too, you know, because we're coming up to Carla now. Both of these ladies met their husbands in paintball. So, <laughs> oh, and here we have Tammy Adamson has made it. Yay! Yay! The queen! Paintball queen! <laughs> All right, I'm going to mute it now. I'm going to mute. <laughs> Hi, Tammy. How are you doing? Good. How are y'all? Oh, we're doing good. We're doing good. We got some great stories going here. I got to tell you. Okay. Um, yeah. B was just saying how you got her involved in paintball. And um, we're going to come up to you in just a minute, but we've got uh, Carla is uh, next on our list here. She's our newcomer here. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have her tell us what we're doing right now, uh, Tammy, is having everybody tell us how they got initiated in the paintball, how they got started in the sport itself. All so right. you you will be next. No so <laughs> go ahead, Carla. How'd you get going? Okay. Um, my starting is a lot different than both um, you, um, both that was shared already. I'm actually a second generation player. Uh, my family started their first like family team mafia in like 86. And he just started off with like a handful of them. Like I think my dad, my uncle, their uncle, and like made me a cousin and more at that time. And so they started this, um, they started this family team and they've just been playing ever since. My dad did stop playing for a while. Um, after he, he did it, my dad went on to go play with the um, California Bushmasters line SI. Um, so he was playing with them for a long time. And then he was doing, you know, that's how he met Bill. And that's how, you know, my dad, that was what my dad was doing for a long time. And then he started getting into other things. And um, so he was too busy to other things. And he was really kind of off and on again for paintball. But it was, I believe, oh, oh. 2015 when, um, Oh, <laughs> that's cool. Um, it was 2013 when my dad started playing with um, the group that would now be known as SoCal Stock. Um, for those who don't know, I play with SoCal Stock. It's a it stands for Southern California Stock. And um, 
I didn't start playing until I was 17. I, I wasn't allowed to, I wasn't allowed to play. My mom was always real nervous about it. You know, what am I gonna do out there? Um, I'm really short. I'm very petite little girl. So she was super nervous. And then finally one day my dad asked, like, do you wanna come? And I really wanted to spend time with my dad more. So I said, yeah. And I just remember it was we were at, I believe, combat. Um, some um, combat is still in Southern California. And I just remember being there in the jersey my cousin let me borrow and some pants that I didn't care was going to get dirty and my van, so it's like a mask that my owner cousin let me borrow. And I just remember running out there and loving it. I was having the time of my life. <laughs> At the time, I didn't know this, but like they, the, apparently I was running up to the 50. They were super happy about that. Like I was just having fun and running around and my dad was, they were happy about it. I was playing. I was in the back player. I was just out there doing it. Um, so I've been playing with California, um, California, um, Sutter California staff group since SoCal Stock. I play with my family. We pretty much all play with SoCal Stock. And I, that's how I got started. I don't well, have a, you, you, you know, guys. you were on David Justin's show. That's right. That's right. Met Carla. And yeah. we had about what 400 of your relatives chime in that night. <laughs> <laughs> we had my third cousin's comment. Everybody that was calling it was related to you. It was so funny. We were cracking up. That was great. Well, I got to tell you, you know, you're surrounded by royalty when it comes to ladies' paintball right now. Oh, hey, Mr. Paxson, I see you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> say hi to Tammy. Say hi to Tammy. <laughs> Hello, right Tammy. Now we are. <laughs> you were in my neck, Mikey, you were in my neck of the woods and didn't even come to say hi. I know she's mad at you because you didn't come say hi to her when you were in. Yes. The whole time, but yes. we never got out fishing. We needed a new boat. I know. Yeah. We, <laughs> and yeah. We, hey, we may be getting a new boat, so you'll have to come and uh, break it in. Yes. Well, um, the nice thing is Lamar's got all the numbers. We couldn't, the one day we went out, you couldn't get the bait to the bottom of the ocean. It was just, it <laughs> wow. Up, I mean, yeah, it was, cool. it was fun. But then all the rest of the days are too windy, so it kind of sucked. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's been windy. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry Freddie. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> it's all good. No, no problem. I'm just speaking back here. You know, I love these reunions. <laughs> right. we, don't, we don't want to talk about paintball. We want to talk about it's fishing. fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Well, well, Tammy got in a little late, but you know, um, you know, you got to tell us how you got started in paintball. It, the other ladies told us, uh, hey, hey, we'll probably ask Mike here too in a little bit, you know, but go ahead, Tammy. How'd you get started um, in paintball? Well, I started dating Todd yeah, at the age of 19. And... <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? He saw, she knew this guy. His name was Todd. <laughs> I'm going to mute it now. <laughs> See funny. what you got to look forward to, Carla? That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I met Todd at 19. He had been playing since he was 14, and he just started traveling to all these tournaments. And I was like, you know, this is bullshit. He's leaving me home. You know, I need to start playing. So I went out to our field in North Fort Myers and started playing with, like, Mike Boogaloo. And that jerk face, I'm sure he's watching. Love you, Boogie. Shot me one time in the neck. I went and played in, like, cutoff shorts and Ooh. half shirt, sports bra. And just, I was like, yeah, sure. try it. Got shot the one time, and I was like, "Oh, it's on! It's on!" <laughs> <laughs> that 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 sport, the sport. I'm like, "Okay, let's go." And so then, um, when I started traveling with him, I was like, "Wow, there's not a lot of lady teams out there." And then started thinking and contacted Beatrice and a few other friends, and we put the fems together. So um, that's how I got started. Was just not wanting to stay home by myself anymore. <laughs> And, and, and you enjoyed it, right? Yes. Yeah. You know, I remember Todd. I got to tell you, you know, um, for some reason, Todd's name really rings a bell with me. What team did he play on? Um, what team hasn't he played on? He started. Right. On, <laughs> right. Uh, okay. Well, st start at the beginning because, okay, you know, everybody beginning. teases me about getting off the arc. So it's been okay. a while. <laughs> this was his first team. And then Rage. And Rage. Then he went to Chicago after Chicago. Yep. Um, LA Ironman, um, back to Aftershock, and he's playing with the LAs now. Is he? Right or on. Them and with Aftershock, depending on what circuit they're playing. I got you. Yeah. 
Yeah, because yeah. that aftershock used to be run by Rennick. It's still um, Rennick and Club still. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it still is. And then uh, you know, Billy used to be the captain of the the All A's. Now Billy's just kind of in the the background. I guess Adam runs the store, and I don't know who yeah. runs the team anymore. Uh, Spash Robinson Spash. and Tom okay. Very good. Cool. You know, Bill, you, you've been sitting there. You awake yet? Yeah. I'm, I'm oh, cool. Waiting. Okay. Just checking, buddy. Just checking. Hey, Is hey, I know you got a question for these ladies, too. Yeah. Uh, what keeps you playing paintball? What, what? What keeps you <laughs> playing paintball? What keeps us playing? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll go backwards on you. Start, Tammy. Go ahead. Keep seeing our friends and family. I mean, you, you've, you you know, as long as I've been doing I've been involved in the sport since 1993. And in just there for a while, we stopped because we were raising our children and, you know, doing, you know, family stuff. And it, it really got to a point to where we're like, shit, we miss our family. You know, we want to go back. And that brought us back into the sport because I missed everybody and Todd missed everybody. It was, it's a release of, you know, stress and anger <laughs> so, <laughs> and shoot somebody and, not get arrested. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, I, I back as we needed to release a lot of stress. Yeah. But oh, very I, cool. Missed our family and friends. Absolutely. Yep. Well, you know, that that's really funny you said that too, because you know, that's one thing I really liked. Uh, you know, I love the tournament circuit and I did it for years. Uh, matter of fact, I helped form the NPPL. And uh it was great going there because you you'd never see these people any other time if it wasn't at a tournament. So it was absolutely great uh, that, that we got to do that. Now, Carla, your turn. What keeps you in paintball? To say something different to what um, she just said, of course, like the friends and the family are like definitely a main reason. Was, there's so many people I know only because of paintball. And I can honestly say I know the coolest people because of paintball. But to answer differently, I guess for me, it's the confidence it gives me. It's, uh, I, I, know I, I know when I have a great weekend of playing because i've been trying to play a lot more it goes on to the whole week <laughs> i know that feeling that i had when i took that shot and i made it and you know won us the game or just got someone out sometimes with the or it's the next week and i feel like you know i can if i can kick ass in the field i can kick like life ass you know it's a it's a confidence meter it makes me feel so sure of myself well guess what carl the, the older you get the better you get because i just keep getting better i swear to god well, so David, I must be at right my best thing? then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the oldest one out here. Right? The older you get, the better you keep. You the better you play because you you methodically think of it more. So, Carla, just wait. Yeah, there the you go. Yet to come. Sure. Well, I know if I was a bottle of wine, I'd probably be vinegar right now. It's but, so cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyhow, you know, we won't get into that. I, uh, I can already see like progressing. Like I started playing when I was like 17. I'm 22 now, so I've been playing for like about five years, and I can I feel better playing. Like certain things I do, I'm like, wow, that that was like that was a lot better than last time and then they always like i play with like i said i play with my family so whenever i hear one of them come up nice shot carla like wow like because they see me from the beginning they see me from i uh, i'm struggling to remember to pump my gun you know <laughs> just learning how to like not chicken it like they see me from the very start of who i am now and like i know i have a long way to go but i'm just proud of what i I'm proud of what I can do now and how far I came so far. Well, you're you're That's surrounded awesome. by by royalty when it comes to ladies playing in paintball. Believe me, mm -hmm. uh, these three ladies that are surrounding you, you couldn't ask for better. Hey, except Kathy Alvarez too. Uh, I want to mention her real quick because she chimed in. We were going to try to get uh, Kathy on the show. We're going to do another show too, real quick. Uh, another ladies show because I had so much uh, response from different ladies wanting to be on it. And Kathy Alvarez is a terrific, terrific lady. And, 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 you know, she's not just good for her. She's good for her son. She takes her son every weekend to go practice. And they, they've won a couple tournaments now. So, you know, she's, uh, she's like on cloud nine right now. And uh, a terrific <laughs> lady. And she would fit right in with you guys. And you she's from the, she's there. from New York too. You know, she's from New York. Yeah, uh, I have, yeah. I have to say something yeah. about a woman paintball player bringing her son to the field. And that yep. was Tammy Adamson. She did oh, that, that right? too. And I was, I was like, how is she doing this right now? Like it's super <laughs> hard already in parenting world, but to bring your child. So 
Very similar, uh, Carla. You're you're well on the same path. <laughs> yeah, see, that's dedication. You know, that's that's what keeps our sport going. You know, um, you know, just like myself. You know, I, I'm getting older, obviously. So you know, you have to pass a baton along to somebody that's going to be not just credible, but you know, somebody that's going to be good for the sport and keep pushing the sport. You know, Absolutely. and uh, uh, you ladies are still young. You know, and Carla, I think I have you're a, a baby <laughs> compared to us. <laughs> <laughs> to me, but uh, you know, these ladies on here tonight, you know, you guys have all worked really hard for the sport, not just for yourself. And see, that's why I had you on. That's what I think is so great about you guys. And and B, I have to Bia. again. I have. <laughs> well, I have to pat Tammy on the back again because to be a mom, she muted me, guys. And to be a <laughs> play football, I think here. she had to work doubly. <laughs> right? And to have a successful paintball team. Now I have to tell you what keeps me going. Initially, yep. it was because I had this dream I was going to go pro someday, right? But I jumped on the Bushwhackers and that's part of the reason why I made the transition from the Femmes to go play with the Whackers. I was the first female to play with Ron Kilborn in the Bushwhackers. Ronnie, and yep. I didn't get enough playing time though. Even though all the guys loved it when I was on the field because my communication skills and my big mouth. She has a big mouth. Right? Jesus, right? She has Thank a big you. Mouth. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so with that said, um, because of that lack of playing time, I decided to form Destiny. But at the end of it all, and now the reason that I stay in it is just like Tammy said, it is about the people that you meet and the reunions that we have every single time. It's like, there's nothing like it, and I don't think in anything else in the world. It's Paintball like you never is left off. It's like, you know, even if it's been a year, it's like you never left off and you don't oh, skip a beat with these people. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Now to you, Tracy. <laughs> what keeps you in paintball? Hey, Tracy. I Hi, honey. <laughs> push goggles, maybe? I don't know. Maybe push. <laughs> um, you know, it it was a little it's a little bit different for me because um as as much as I love the sport, I could never really get to play it at the professional level because of my health always. Um even before the whole fibrosis and surgery stuff, I always suffered with my asthma. So um growing up <laughs> I just wanted to be a race car driver because that was the only way that I can have speed in my life because I can't run, I can't even speed walk. Um, so that was like my goal, and um, and I and I did that for years. I raced for years. Um, That's and awesome! I, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, and I raced for the SCCA. Um, it's a sports car club of America. I raced for them for years, and. Um, it made me see that even though there are other sports that I can't play, when you love something, you find a way. And with paintball, you know, the first time I played it was just running through the woods. So it really wasn't that bad. You know, we spent most of the time, like, you know, laughing and stuff. But when, um, when I met James and I learned about the whole tournament side of things, um, I was lucky from the beginning, I was able to get in there and work with the guys that were promoting the events and doing like registration for the events and stuff like that. And being able to put it together and watch it come together and then meet all of these players and get to celebrate with them and see them at every event, um, like time it seems like a reunion every time. Um, it didn't matter if I couldn't get on the field myself. I just needed to be there. I just wanted to be there. And I loved it so much. And I dedicated like every day to whatever we can do to make um, the sport of paintball better and more successful um, regardless. And whenever I talk about rules of not getting you know, getting a plague. I know B's always like, you don't have to run. You just got to stay in the back and shoot your lane. And I could do that. So <laughs> I know, you know, at least if I'm going to get on the field, I can do that. But um, being able to work with all you guys and, you know, just like this, all the new families that we end up creating, Fred and Bill, I feel like I've known you guys forever. <laughs> you know? 
Um, yeah. And it's like, you know, I just love it. And I'm like, so glad so I grew on you. Scene, you know, we, we've now known each other forever. Hey, I've been with my wife over here for 48 years. And she's just starting to like me. <laughs> 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 so that's great, Tracy. I mean, we're under a year, babe. <laughs> I love it. I'm saying, right? <laughs> See, Bill, you said I had no friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I was wrong. You proved me wrong again. Sure. I'll tell you why. I'm a good friend. <laughs> uh, I love this group. Man, I got to tell you, you guys are cool as hell. Believe me. Yeah. So, B, you, you know, I've, I've seen pictures of you playing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Now, were those stage or were you actually awesome. running that fast? Yeah, I, I used to run really fast. And then I broke my ACL <laughs> at one World Cup event. Oh, really? Thank oh. you, Paintball. <laughs> it was at the Cow Patty Field. Do you remember the Cow Patty Field in Kissimmee, Florida? It was probably 2000, oh, yes. I don't oh, know, yeah. three, perhaps. And I, I landed in a two, hole. I, I think it was 2000. Which one? 2000. 2000. 2000. Yeah, it was, 2003. It was like 2003, 2004. Yes. No, yes. it wasn't 2004. And I, it was 2003 wow. because they moved They moved uh, World Cup to uh, Disney in 2004. Isn't so that amazing? Wide world Disney. sports. Yeah. Yeah. I wish we yeah. could get back to that. Yeah. But yeah, so I did end up ruining my right leg and I lived with a uh, torn ACL, no ACL, for 13 years until wow. I finally went to a, a knee surgeon and they cleaned out the cartilage that was floating in my knee. It would lock me out sometimes. Everybody's like, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? Why do you keep tripping? And it was because the cartilage was still floating in there. So finally um, took care of it, but I didn't repair the ACL. I'm literally still trying to play paintball in the center back with a with no ACL on my right leg. So, wow. so yeah, it's yeah. I've seen some great pictures of you. Yeah, there, there's some great pictures of you out there doing it too. It it's doesn't hurt cool. me. Go get it fixed. I know. I will. I will. <laughs> I need to hit the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Tammy, that's all B was talking about is how you got her involved in, in it. It's all her fault. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> well, then you would never have met Mike. So, hey. Amen to that, sister. Right? No, and, right. and I joke, but literally, um, what Tammy, I'm getting goosebumps and I'm about to cry. So, I'm going to keep it under control. But literally, okay, it no was. No crying this week, Beatrice. I no crying. Cry don't I'm make me done. cry, Tammy. <laughs> no, I do it every time I look in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just become such a culture and it really has become a way of life and that's part of the reason again why we stay in it because mike loves going to these mech events i force him to do everything else you know like coaching some of our destiny teams but at the end of it all you know even tracy she's getting involved with some of the stuff we're doing because of her event organization background yep. um and the sky's the limit you know i i really don't see us any of us i think me tammy uh, i don't know how old carla is but we're going to try She's to get 22. Tracy. I said I have underwear. Oh, my God. God have mercy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, you guys think was you know? I was like, oh, my God. I was like six. <laughs> I know. Oh, man. Oh, 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 yeah. We'll be 70-year-old women playing in the NXL if it still exists at that time. I guarantee it. Watch I'll us. I'll have my wall <laughs> and my <cane>. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you guys just kick my butt. <laughs> we, 22 you'll years enjoy old. It. Don't, don't be scared. That's like four points more than my IQ. I don't know. <laughs> that's man. That's something, huh, Bill? Yeah, I'm trying to calculate. I think I have guns that are like 15 to 16 years older than her. <laughs> right? I know we do because we have some of the original ones that Todd still has. Yeah. yeah, I do too. You know, the yep. ones I got sitting on the table right here are older than her. Yeah. yeah, this this was my last tournament gun that I played, and that was in uh, God, I don't know what, two thousand or something like that. Oh wow! Yeah, that was the last uh, tournament that um, I played, and then I I took a few years off and went gold dredging and had a great time, and um, now I'm back, and I I love it. Um, you know, I I definitely enjoy the new people that I've got to meet since I've came back here too. I have a lot of friends, uh, like I say, you know, uh, Bud Orr, Tom K, um, you know, all these Tim Schloss, Dan Colby, you know, these are, are great, great friends of mine and have been for a long, long time. And they, they're they watching the show right now, Tammy. All these guys watch the show every week. Hi, guys. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, uh, we got to see, I got to see Bud was back east. In, 
in <laughs> Chicago last year. That was awesome. Yeah, Bud was back east last bad. last week, and and he watched the show from back east even. So, yeah, Bud's a Bud's a cool guy. Tom K, cool guy. All of these yep. guys are cool. I, I love them all. Oh my god! Yeah, every time I see Bud, I know. cry. I know, right? I agree with you, B. Yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's the so Carla, what do, you, what do you think of these ladies, Carla? I think it's pretty. I don't. I where I'm at in Southern California, um, there's not. I don't see too many girls around playing paintball at all, or especially too many big name girls as well. Like I already knew about you guys, bef like way before this opportunity ever came up. And it was always like, oh, that's, like that's awesome. Like. Those are women that I hope, like, you know, I hope I can be in this sport as long as they have. You know, I, I hope that, you know, I have so much of an impact like they have that some random, you know, girl like me can look me up and think that, you know, I'm cool, too. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and, <laughs> you are. You're, you're here with us, you know. Come on. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm actually the only, like, um, female player in SoCal stuff. So it's like. I'm just around men all the time, like, and it's great because I I see everybody in SoCal Slot like, and then that, like, they're all they take care of me. They all seen me since I was like in high school to like now, and they all like take care of me. But it's it's just really cool getting to meet women who've been here for a long time and know what they're doing, and it's just I I feel really like lucky right now, if I'm being honest. Yeah, very cool. Yeah, yeah. We I, did I, it, I, ladies. I feel lucky. I feel lucky <laughs> being around them. I'm older than all of them. Hey, hey, B. Hey, here, yeah. Here, here's Mike's old gun. Mike Paxson, this is your old gun. Bring it in. Bring it in, team. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. <laughs> hey, listen. I have to tell you a story about me and Tammy. We oh, actually knew, we knew of each other in middle school. Yeah. And then we knew of each other in high school. Yeah. And she was always this very beautiful girl. And I think she dated this with my crush. His name was Mark Mandrick. Do you remember Mark Mandrick? He was so cute. Oh, anyway, so, um, and yeah. No, no and fighting on screen. On a, listen, we danced on a single A ball club baseball team in between innings. Right, Tammy? Stop. We danced on a single A yes, baseball. Yes. <laughs> what? Seen, it, was the Minnesota Twins. it was the Minnesota Twins. Um, I was like triple A or something. I don't even know now. That's yeah, it was a triple A ball club yeah, yeah. And, and ACDC, and we were hella good. Like we we looked good too. too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, come back. Mike Jackson, come back, come back. It's chaos here, by the way, because it's my friend's birthday. How old is she now? Sixty nine. Sixty nine years old. Yeah. Sixty-nine, Mike Paxson. Come here. Show it up on the screen there. Okay. Bill. Michael, you have to come look at this because it has the chronic sticker on it. It's right, it's right here. <laughs> oh. Michael McCurdy. Wrong Michael. Sorry. <laughs> we love all Michaels. No problem. There he is. There he is. You see it right there? Oh see yeah. It. Oh no, that was a gun. Yeah. Yep. It came oh, I, the guy hey, was over on hey, the Mike, coast. Mike, do you need glasses? Because you're getting really close. Was to yeah. <laughs> I just said it was my gun. I'll show you how Where, my memory is. Where'd you pick that up at, Bill? Uh, it was a guy on the East Coast. He, he, he said Mike gave it to him or sold it to him, you know, like a long time ago, and the guy never used it. He just yeah, he it sold my mail. gun. Mike I was going to say, just my gun. gun. He pulled a Todd on you. Yeah, thank you very you much. Not even telling you. I know that feeling all too well. Oh, babe, where's my gear? Oh, I sold it. Don't worry about yeah. it. I'll get Don't worry about it. Else. I'll get you another one. I'll get you another yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> and then I just, I just borrow shit from everybody now because then he can't sell it. That's it. Hey, so Bill Bailey, can you will that to my daughter? Um, when you pass away, well, I, I think what, what, what sounds like it's gonna happen. Be careful, and, she'll put a hit like on you. <laughs> they want to do a tournament, to tell us about it. the top gun tournament, and the winner gets their pick. So, oh, wow. <laughs> Just say maybe, Bill. <laughs> I'm not even drinking, I'm sober right now. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> You'd be amazed at how many people say that, though. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna message you. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you about that later. <laughs> Thank God you're sober. Right? <laughs> You'd be on a plane to Missouri to get that gun. <laughs> 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 
I was like, what did I do? Oh, no, I'm used to it. I just... Poor Carlos sitting there going, oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Carla, oh. don't show her any guns, okay? I'm just letting you know. So. <laughs> Yeah. For me and Tammy at, at dinners and stuff, I hate to oh, I hate to say this, but I was so poor back in the day. Like I did whatever it took. Like, hey, you gonna eat that? Like we'd be at the team dinner, and I would just wait until everybody was done. So she's, she's like, like, hey, can I have some of that? Can I, have I was like, some of that? can I get some of that? Can I get I was some like, of that? Order a damn meal, Beatrice. <laughs> <laughs> just order food, Jesus. My first sponsor, Tammy and Todd Adamson of Extreme Rage. <laughs> <laughs> That's the God's honest truth. Oh, I love you guys so much. <laughs> hey, hey, Carla, do you, do you know Justin Ramirez out of California? Justin Ramirez. The name isn't ringing any bells right now. So if I He's do know right, to you, I don't remember you. He, but he I don't does, think I do. He does a lot of milling. You know, you know, he custom uh, custom mills guns. Uh -huh. You know, a lot of them. You know, in a, but I know he, he's up there. You know, with you guys. Hi, hey Carla, how many guy, how many relatives did you guys have on a on a team out there? You know, when, when you guys go play, like at the thing on Sunday for that uh, memorial, how many of your relatives were there? A lot of. Just relatives. a guess. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> if I can guess, I don't know. I have to say, like 25, 30 relatives. Holy shit! Oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. telling you, I was, was on like, David Justin's I met show. My, I met like three third cousins that day. Like, hi, I'm your third cousin. I'm like. Hey, like nice to meet you. Like it was cool. Um, uh, but it's crazy. Um, not it's only been like a, a like ten of us that always played. So I'm so used to playing with these tens, like this group of ten. But it was um, cool seeing like other people from who used to play with them in Mafia. Like our cousin Albert came with her, his daughter, and his daughter was playing for the first time. So that was super great because I remember when I first started playing, it was like. How, like I was excited, and she was excited, so we're just like running games together, and I'm happy. Like I'm, like you know, I'm I'm always happy to meet extended family, especially when they're coming play paintball with me. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Wow, very <laughs> cool. How you doing up there, Tracy? I'm doing good. She's hanging out. Are, are these some stories or what? Yeah, you can't buy it. these stories, man. This is cool. I'm telling you. And you see, and I, 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 I was lucky because I got to see Mike when he came down to um, work with Destiny Florida. So we got to spend the weekend and um, uh, <laughs> it was fun. Did he tell you? <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of fun, and um, if I would have known, I would have kidnapped him to bring him down to see you, and it was so good because I got to see um, Tammy and the family on Sunday, um, which was You're beautiful. Cry, stop it. I, I know. We did enough crying on that on, on, on Sunday, but Carla, we got to get you over to Florida. That's what we got to do. I would love that. It's so crazy. <laughs> I want to meet you guys. I would love to meet you guys and like play a game. And uh, like, I don't know, they're just well, smoking together. Now you can tell everybody that you know them. You know, you've, you've met all of these ladies, you know. Now you can throw these names out there, you know. Yeah, I know them guys. Uh, you know, it, that's pretty cool. It goes a long way. Some heavyweights right here, believe me. Well, not talking about the weight billion. I night. feel very heavy right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, well, well, Tammy, you know, when I talk to B or Bia, um, when I talk, when I talk, <laughs> when, I, when I talk to B, that's the first thing she said. She goes, well, Tammy's the one that got me going in this. Tammy's the one that got me started. So yeah. we were waiting for you to come on so we could I hear. Know, uh, so how, did, how did you get her involved? What'd you do? Just to, I, I don't even, how did we, re oh, well, yeah, because we reconnected was, through the dance thing. And then right. when I moved back home from, um, cause I had, I was a ballet dancer. I was a ballerina for, um, back then it was Orlando city ballet. So was or Bill. Back then That's it was cool. Southern ballet. So and then when I moved home, <laughs> I blew my knee out. I got her. I still have I, my tutu. <laughs> Tutus are great. They're amazing. I'd like to see you in it. Oh yeah. You'll, you'll <laughs> forget <laughs> dinner for a week. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I just reconnected with her when I decided to do the team. And then we had shit tons of opportunities because we did, you know, even though I was pregnant with our son, we did Maxim Magazine, what, three or four times or at least three yeah. times. Yeah. Um, yeah. We had um, ESPN came here, did a big thing on us. We had um, Telemundo. We had, um, uh, oh gosh, not um, 
I forget who else, not CNN, but some huge TV or, you know, major network show came here and did a huge thing on us. I mean, we had a lot of press. We did a lot of good press for that nobody else could get because they weren't an all female team. Yep. But right. we got it. We brought the sport into mainstream, a lot of it, <laughs> even though everybody's like, oh, you know, for to get it on TV and stuff, we had it on TV. So right. I do have to say that our team did accomplish a lot. And we with, worked really hard though, too, because we, we had, we did, we, we, we really killed it. Pushed it. We did. We yeah. had, I think we were one of the first teams also to have like a total, like organized profile thing of every team, you know, of every team member, what they were involved in, what their lives were, you know, if they had children, if they didn't, you know, their whole pro profile, we had a whole team packet. And that went uh, to every person that ever wanted to know about us. Right. And Todd Addison coached a lot of us. I mean, he's yes. one of my greatest mentors. And so we had uh, a really good network because of Extreme Rage and all of right. their connections. Yes. In our, in our, yep, in our gear and stuff it, like that, we were huge in the industry. Best as well. pack on the market. Extreme yes. Rage had the best pack. I, 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 I dare you to say. try to. Yeah, it was, it was good times, but Tammy did an outstanding job. And a lot of people thought, oh, they're only getting sponsorship because they're pretty. Because of well, then, right. here's, some, here's some medals. Is this good right. enough for you now? You know, <laughs> right. we did win some stuff. Yeah, we did. We did good. And then, and that, we had, a lot, then that made a lot of other women want to get involved in the sport. They're like, oh, well, if they can do it, I can do it. Hell yeah, you can. Anybody yep, can and, get involved in the sport. You just have to have the gumption to do it. That's right. So, and, and that's the relatability that is so important. You know, if a girl goes, wait a minute, she's kind of looks like me too. You know, she's kind of girly girl. But right. yet when we got on the field, we were super athletic. Then right. we had people like Keely Watson, who is like the poster child at Die. You know, she yes. played with us. Lisa yes. Harvey, another significant yep. um, pinup girl, if you will, for uh, paintball junkies back in the day. I'm sure some of you guys remember that. Yes. Um, and the list goes on and on and on. And, and yeah, here we are still doing it. You know what I'm saying? So it's been, it's been such a wonderful journey. I can't say enough wonderful things very, about very it. Very, very cool. Very yeah. cool. And yeah, I can't yeah. thank, you know, enough anybody and everybody that's ever been involved in our teams or, you know, has ever let any of us guest on your teams or, you know, allowed us to be involved with your company. I mean, it's just, it's opened a lot of doors for us and other other paintball players as i want to right on women they're paintball players and that's Absolutely. what a lot of people try to emulate is to try to find that niche that makes you different and then to start thinking outside the box and tammy was the first one to do that on fems shoot i i remember even when maury turbyville i think she designed the extreme rage logo the cool no. little cart no she uh, didn't no um because before we decided to do the team we did the company extreme rage and right on. the guy that we were working with, he came up and he's like, this looks like Todd on an angry day. I'm like, oh, that looks like Todd on a normal day. So <laughs> that's how we came up with it. That's awesome. I didn't know that. I could have swore. I thought, what did Lori draw though then? Something else. Who knows? My memory fails me. But but yeah. And then even with like you the sound website. sound like an alien to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, and so she did the website and again, told everybody's stories and, you know, to kind of think about what teams are looking to do to be different, um, you have to tell stories about yes. who makes up the team, you know, and, and hopefully that's a good tip for you guys. Like, try to make whatever it is you're doing interesting to the layman, you know, somebody that isn't playing paintball, tell the story as to how they got into it share what it is that makes me so successful now you know well, you know team. back in the day back when you guys were all little kids and uh <laughs> i started in paintball you know that's the reason i took it to espn and put it on disney we shot that show right on uh, new york street on disney there yeah and we reached millions of people for that and the reason that i did that was because disney being involved it it made people that normally would not look at the sport of paintball look at it because Disney's reputation back then. So, so, so Fred, you, know, you did. So, Fred, you did the ESPN um, when y'all shot it on that field, the pallets and all that, right? No, I, no, I was the announcer. No, 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 no. I was the announcer. I was the okay. announcer for ESPN on that, but I shot it on New York Street, right, right on Disney. Yeah. Yeah. So that, but that you were the the announcer for that team for that game, right? 
for yeah, that was Jerry's. That was actually Jerry's. I was out yes. in uh, in Orangefield or something yes. like that. Yeah, I was in With Alcatraz. All the well, that's that correct. Todd, yep. my husband, is the one who did the Dead Man's Walk and won it against the paraplegic turtles. Oh, is that right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, yeah, I did that, and then we and then we did the road rules. You know, the road rules was the number one show too, and we reached a lot of young people uh, yeah, I mean, when we did I that one. Road yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I I kept all our uniforms after the after the show was over. The kids go, "Oh man, I'm going to keep them." I go, "No, no, 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 no." I said, "I'm going to keep all of those. Those are all mine." You know, and uh, Brass Eagle, you know, they they footed the bill for me to go do it. So, yeah. but you know that that's how I reached people back in the day. But you know. You guys did a great job when it comes to ladies. But back in the day, it was hard even for guys because the minute you mentioned paintball, first thing they come up, go, oh, man, you guys are warmongers. Oh, man, that's going out and killing people. And, you know, we had to deal with that constantly. And that was an absolute pain in the butt, believe me. So my hat's off to all you ladies for for doing what you do. Uh, You guys are great. Uh, You guys... (laughs) It's been a great show tonight, and I'm Thank so you. glad, Jamie, that you finally made it here. Thank you. So sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's great. Hey, hey, you made it. It's great. You know, say hi to Todd. But, you know, all of these guys, everybody's going, oh, she'll make it. She's on her way back. She's on her way back. She'll yeah. make it. You know? And I'm over here going, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. She'll make it. <laughs> so, you know, it was great. Real, real quick, guys, I want to introduce you. No, she, she always yells at me. This is my wife, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Hi. Hi. What do you think of the show? Nice to meet you, Carla. Great. You guys are all look great. You sound great. And um, Stacy, look really good. On <laughs> yeah, really Tracy. Good. Yeah, you do. You do look good. You're healing up great. Oh no, she looks amazing. Trust me, yeah, she looks awesome. You. Yeah, yes. yeah. We did a we did that uh, a raffle. Bill and I did a a raffle and uh, what else did we do, Bill? Oh, right. uh, an auction. <laughs> yeah. Two hey, Darren, when you're my age, you know, you can forget stuff. You got oh, an excuse. Me too. <laughs> no, we, we, we just we say when we forget stuff, we just say refrigerator. Yeah. Refrigerator. <laughs> refrigerator. Well, yeah. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, like we did that. a the raffle and an auction. That's what it was. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah it, you know, it didn't help fully, but it helped a little bit. So, and I was, yeah, and, but you know, the best part of all of that was, as I got to meet Tracy, exactly, you know, because I did not know no Tracy and Gino, you know, Gino and I, Gino from Belkin, him and I go back a long, long way, a long, long ways, and uh, we've been friends for years. And he's the one that called me up and he goes, Hey, he says, I got a friend, can you give her a hand? And then I called up and talked to Tracy. And a- after I talked to Tracy, for shoot, I don't even think we talked maybe 20 minutes. And I was sold. That was it. Well, I was going to help this lady all I could, and it was on. Now, that yeah. was that was the best part. The second best part was delicious beef sticks. Yeah. That, hey, don't be teasing me with food now. Come on, you know better. Than that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, ladies. Uh, usually, I don't go over the hour, but we're over the hour already. So, Thank you guys. we're going to start, Tammy. I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. Uh, we've had a very good audience tonight. We've had all kinds of people chiming in, even Thomas Ski and Mark Gong. So I am going to let you say goodbye to everybody first. Bye, everybody. Thank you for joining us. My dogs say bye to you. I love your dogs. Yes. Love, you, love you, Jamie. I love you, T. Love you. Love you, Bibia. Love you, Tracy. Nice to meet you, Carla. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Bye. All right, Sammy. You have a good nice. evening and thanks for coming on. Yes, thank you for having us. Anytime. All right. Bye-bye okay. now. Bye. Oh. Wow. She was great, huh? I'm glad, glad she made it. Glad she made it. So, well, Bia. Thank she you. told me some stuff tonight that is bad. Hey, I'm going to call you Bill, Bia. I, I, heard, I heard her say Beatrice. Beatrice. So, okay. I'm just leaving Beatrice. the trust off. That's all. That's all. Just call me Beatrice from here on out, Fred. <laughs> you, you only, though. I don't let a lot of people call me Beatrice anymore. It sounds like well, you're in no, trouble. Actually, actually, I'm going to call you B because when you threaten Bill and I over that gun, I don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> it wasn't a threat. Listen. It was very, I could have said will it to me, but yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I yeah. said will it to my daughter. 
Yeah. Now, now poor Bill is going to be laying out. there with his eyes wide open all night. <laughs> I'm going to be in the next. I'm going to. I'm gonna be in the next episode of like ID Network, you know. It's like, <laughs> and they're only missing one gun, you know. Hey, out of four hundred oh guns, there's just one gun. Can you, can you, can you, Stuart chimed in and he goes, "Boy, be sure wrote Bill off quick." I know. Like, <laughs> Way to make you look bad. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, B, thanks so much for coming on tonight, man. I, I really appreciate it. You were great tonight. Thank you, Fred. So I'm going to let you say goodbye to everybody. I'm going to say thank you to Fred. Thank you to Tracy for introducing us all and connecting us. Um, Carla, Absolutely. you're always welcome to play with Lady Destiny anytime Ooh. you want. So, an invitation. We'll find an event. Um, Hell, and, I don't and, even get that invitation. And, and we should do an event together, though. Do you guys play big games like Super Game or any yeah. of that? Yeah, we Let's do. do um, Oh my god! You know we can get together. This this is talking about <laughs> fantasy. Monte Casino in September. Oh. Okay, <laughs> we should do this, and then Fred, you should air the show at whatever event we do. I and would. We'll do yeah, Fred. I, I I absolutely would. Yeah. No, okay. I absolutely would. That's not a problem. So, Wait, you're going to be something when you come out of your shell. I got to tell you. <laughs> She's going to be like a little pet. Come on, Carla. <laughs> yeah, super yeah you know, yeah. Any, anytime you want to be on, be anytime you want on. You just let me know. And if you're going to be, I'm. I, we're going to probably go up and do that super game up in uh, Oregon. Oregon. The in first Oregon. The first ever yeah, super game I ever the, went to, I hurt first myself. Or something like that. The first and second of May, something like that. So we're going to probably go up and do that one. So, but yeah, if I'm ever at any place where you're at, you let me know and we'll go live instantly. Because you're <laughs> a show by yourself, kid. So. <laughs> well, my encouragement to everybody is to have the girls play on your teams. You know, I the, the one thing that I kind of don't really love is when somebody comes up to me and says, hey, I got a girl for you. And then I'll go, really? Um, we play D3. Oh, well, she's only been playing for a few months. Okay. You know, um, uh, so why can't she play with you guys? You know, and then the guy's like, and, and it was his daughter, you know? And so it's, I kind of encourage people, like, if you want to just see what it's like and get a feel for what it's like to have a girl on your team, I encourage everybody to make yourselves a co-ed sort of yep. situation. Hey, like I say. You know, back in the day, and this is back in, in the late 80s and early 90s, I asked my wife, I had three different women on the team, and all three of those women earned their spots. They That's competed right. against a bunch That's of guys right. that tried out. And trust yeah. me, many of us that play paintball that are women are doing it because we want to play with the guys, and we want to play alongside and against. Yep. We don't really want preferential treatment. We want to earn it. And even like I had a ref in my past try to like call uh, overshooting penalty and I had not even noticed that I was getting overshot off the field. And so trust me, like a lot of us that are playing, we just want to be at your level. And so if we have questions, absolutely help us we'll learn. But at the end of the day, we're all human beings. We're all just trying to play paintball and do this thing together as a form of right. happiness for the rest of our lives. Okay. <laughs> all right, so B. Much. Well, thank you so much for being on tonight. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. Thanks you so thank yeah. you so much. And Tracy, I love you very, very much. I love you're you. Gonna too. Live, you're gonna live forever because I need you. So I love you. I love you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> oh, that was great. She's a kick in the pants, huh? Wow. Yeah. And so Carla, <laughs> you got an invite to play on Team Destiny. I know. That's like <laughs> yeah. Hell, I've shaved my legs for that invite. <laughs> now, so now, make Carla, sure you call you me, say, okay? Like, what'd you say, Bill? I'll, like, message me when we're done and I'll give you some info. Yes, I would love to do something with you guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. This like is I say, you know, sure. you're, you're, you're friends right now with the best ladies in this industry. And this one right next to you, well, yeah. Close next to you, uh, next to you on the screen, anyhow. I'll work it out. Hey, give me a break for you. <laughs> anyhow, uh, you can, you can't get better than Tracy and uh, Carla. You've been great tonight too. I, I am so very happy that you got to come on, and I'm very very glad that you got to link up with these ladies. Me too. Uh, they're. 
I don't know. I, I'm kind of speechless right now. This went a lot better than I want. I was super nervous, but like talking about this, they make me feel so comfortable. I feel like, you know, even though I don't know them as long, I feel like I can talk to them. Oh, we, yeah, they're, they're we, all, we all gone through the same type of experience before. So if anybody can understand me, it's definitely these ladies. Well, stay in touch with them online now. You know, you guys are linked up on Facebook now? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, if, if, yeah, these ladies, they're terrific. They really are. And uh, Tracy and Bia and Tammy, you just can't ask for a better group of ladies. You know, and Kathy Alvarez, which was not tonight. You'd want to meet her. She's terrific. Um, I'm going to have her on a future show here, too. So, all right, Carla. Well, you want to say goodnight to everybody real quick? Yes. Okay. Uh, I really like to say thank you to everybody who watch. I hope you guys are excited for what I can bring to the table. I still have a lot of years left with me, and I hope I can live up to the standards these ladies have set and maybe even push them higher for the next generation. Thank you for watching, um, for inviting me. Thank you for having me here. And I'm just excited. <laughs> Thank you. Great. All right, Carla, you, you take it easy, sweetie. Yep. Thank you. Okay, stay in touch, huh? Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh. Wow, was she cool, huh, Tracy? Oh, she's awesome. Yeah, she's that's awesome. why I wanted to have her on, you know. Um, she she did a great, great job. And uh, somebody on Facebook here that says, whoa, uh, Carla, right on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when she was on Reaper's show, I was so glad when he brought her on to talk. Um, she was so sweet, you know, and it's always so exciting to find, you know, anyone that has the same love that you do. It's 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 awesome, you know. Right. Which well, I think you know, it's so easy for us to have that, you know, that bond immediately. Like we've known each other for so long. Yep. Well, I just wanted her to link up with you guys because, you know, I, I think she's going to really, really be good in the future for paintball. And, you know, what what better lady mentors could she have than you guys that were on tonight? Uh, I mean, you guys are like, uh, you know, and Kathy Alvarez. I got to keep saying that because I love Kathy Alvarez. She's a great lady. <laughs> but, you know, you guys, the, the cream rises to the top always. And, and you guys are the cream. And uh, that's what Carla's going to end up being, too. Yeah, she's going to end up being sure. the cream. And... Uh, we're going to work a little bit, you know, and, and you know, make her uh, not just popular in Southern Cal, but, you know, uh, maybe way outside of Southern Cal, too, just like you are, Tracy. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, we're going to work hard at that. She wants to come down here and, you know, uh, and, and the good thing with, with, with Destiny is we're everywhere. Destiny is yep. everywhere. So, you know, she'll be able to jump on where she is. Um, or even if she's traveling and she hasn't had the opportunity yet, you know, she definitely can. I mean, here in Florida, we have our, our Destiny team, and then we also have Destiny Army, which does a lot of the MagBeat events. Right. Um, it's, it's, just, it, it's amazing. They really are like an army. <laughs> yeah, it, you guys are. There's a lot of you. And yeah. Brad, Brad Travers just uh, jumped in. It's a great show. So I appreciate that very much, Brad. You know, it's kind of hard to have a bad show when you got all these nice people on, you know, and and Bill and I just kind of sitting in the wings here enjoying all these stories that were flying yep. out there, man. It was cool as hell. Yeah. So, well, Tracy, I'm going to let you say goodnight to everybody, dear. And thank oh. you personally for being on. Oh, thank you for having me on. Um, you know, I love you guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. We were excited to get to come on and do this show. And um, poor Fred had to hear girls just, that's how we do, right? I love it. I love it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, you know, if, if we had more time, it probably would have gone on and on. I'll tell you, when it goes back to stories, we've got so many of them. But wow, this it, ain't the last time you're going to be on, too. Tracy. No. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. That's for sure. And um, we've got a lot of other amazing ladies out there um, from players to players, wives, players, moms, um, a lot of people out there. So um, it'll be nice so we can get to see little uh, perspectives of the sport because yep. there are a lot of us that uh, may not play, but still love it just, just as much. Yep. Well, we're going to have, well, obviously you're going to come back on. Um, we're going to definitely have, uh, Carla back on in the future here. And, um, I'll, I'll bring you guys on together again. Cause you guys were, were a pretty good match. You guys, uh, I think you guys would get along very, very well. And, uh, you know, and B, what can you say? B and Tammy. <laughs> yeah, just you know, I mean, 
<laughs> they had some stories. So, oh, well, yeah. Tr yeah. Well, Tracy, thank you so much for being on tonight. I appreciate it. Thank man. you so much for having me. You guys Tam have a great Tam night. Had, Tammy had a live dog where Kevin had a dead bear. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> Can't beat a live dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you get extra points for a dead bear, and especially yeah. when it's on your shoulder like it was, too. Wow. Yeah. Hey, you know what's funny, though, is I was the only one that knew it was dead. Bill, for a day and a half, and Steve McGuire thought it was alive. I swore it was alive. I could have swore that yeah. thing went walking behind him. I was like, what? At first, I thought it was a <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't have brought that up, but anyhow. <laughs> All right, Tracy, you have a good All evening, right, and, and tell James I said hi. I will. Bye. Your wife's parents said good night too. <laughs> All right, babe. Bye bye. Wow. What do you think, Bill? Uh, that was something else. A lot of history right there. It was, wasn't it? Yep. That was pretty cool. That uh it was a pretty good show. Yep. Pretty good show. And you know, uh you couldn't ask for a better group. No. Nope. Um <laughs> yeah, that was a, a number one answer, though. That, you know, coming back with family, you know, being like family, you know, that's yeah, that was that was a really good answer. You know, that was so. an outstanding answer. Yeah, Carly even had some very good answers. Um, yeah. you know, and uh, you know, she's uh, she's been in it for five years, but she's got a long, long way to go here, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah, and so now she's getting hooked up with some of the greats in the sport, and uh. You know, we get her traveling here pretty soon. You know, we get this COVID thing, uh, kick its butt and get it out of the way. And then we'll uh, get Carla on a plane and get her to some of these events with these ladies. And she will love the hell out of that. So yep. we can set that up. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was talking with Joe today from uh, Paintball to Go for Monte Casino. And it's it's looking pretty good. You know, he, he just unloaded another 200 sandbags, you know, for, you know, you know, the part of the bunker system there by the Abbey. And it's just, uh, so Monte Casino still looks like it's on then, right? Oh yeah. 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 And that's September, in September, huh? Yep. Yep. September, uh, 12th and 13th or 11th through the 13th, I think. Yeah. And, and it is where it's at uh paintball to go in uh root house, Illinois. It's, it's about, uh, an hour and 45 minutes from the St. Louis airport. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah. Well, that might be a good one to. That might be a good one to get some of these people too. Maybe even uh, we could even maybe get Carla plane ticket and she'd come out and hang out with these ladies and play some paintball with all of us. Yeah, it'd be, yeah, it would give a uh, be a chance to use use the old gun. <laughs> oh yeah, and 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 we can do we can go live from there too. Then. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Yep. Yep. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, I'm I'm actually looking forward to it because I haven't even got to to play alongside you, you know. Yep. Yep. So you know, and these other players, they need somebody behind them shooting. Oh, I, I'm a back player. I play. Yeah, I play I the back. <laughs> right on, Billy. <laughs> All right, buddy. Yeah. Well, you want to say goodbye to everybody? All right. Uh... Oh, and Kathy Alvarez says Woods Ball, May fifteenth and sixteenth. Yep. Yep. Same time as the Legends. Yep. Yep. So, but yeah, have, uh, Legends has moved to North Carolina now. They, they will not be in Chicago. So, yep. I've seen DJ's post. So, uh, yeah, it's. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah, it's going to happen. So, yep. All right, Billy. All right. You take it easy, buddy. We'll see you guys. You guys be safe. Wow. I mean, my head's about ready to explode. It was such a cool show with all these girls. Oh, my God, it was cool. These, these ladies just blew it out of the park. Um, you know, we've we've had people that have been into it for a long time. We've had people that have been into it for five years. Carla, which is up and coming. And, and you know, now, now she's hooked up with these people. Carla will be the next superstar. You know what? She's going to be rolling right up there, man. We're going to get her, uh, you know, fly her out to some of these, you know, the big games, some of these tournaments or something like that. And we can all hook up, you know, Monte Casino that Bill was talking about probably be a great one um, in Illinois in September. We'll see. Maybe we can't get her hooked up and get her to fly out there to do that. And uh, then we can go live from there. Bill and I can go live. We can go play one game and then uh, <laughs> go live and then talk to everybody and have a great time. So I want to thank everybody. You know, I ran ran a little bit long tonight, and uh, I guess it is what it is. And remember, though, you, we got the World Cup coming up also uh, pretty soon. So uh, 
it's going to be pretty cool uh, out in New York. Uh, it's always been a great event. I played it from the start, and uh, I wish them nothing but the best during that. So, all right, everybody. Well, it's been a great evening. I want to thank, again, all the ladies I had on. They were nothing short of terrific. I want to thank Bill, as always. Uh, you know, Bill's my buddy. Uh, he jumps on with me and uh, hashes this out every week. Just a terrific guy. So to all my guests tonight, I want to say thank you. To all my viewers, I definitely want to say thank you. And please stay safe. And from the bottom of my heart, please play hard, play safe, play fair, but get out there and play some paintball. Till next Tuesday evening, 7 o'clock Pacific time, you guys all stay safe, huh? Bye now.